Well, hello again. This is Key of W playing through Submachine 2, The Lighthouse. Uh, so in the previous video, basically started the game and uh, found a couple objects and some secrets and made our way up into some new building. We're not sure. We just came from this lower area. We're going to keep exploring and see what we can find. I've got another one of these lights we can turn on and off, but apparently it does nothing else. So let's head in here. Another light. I might as well just turn all the lights on and see what happens. Uh, another ornate chair looks exactly like one of the ones we saw earlier. Other than that, maybe one of these books. Ah, we can grab that. And that's all. So we add to our list of documents. When we click here, we got two out of two. We can read this one. Mid-October 05. Today, a strangest thing has happened. When I woke up, there was a black cat inside the lighthouse. I clearly remember locking all the doors and windows before going to bed, yet there he was. I have no idea how he could get inside, but that bothers me. I named him Einstein since he's apparently capable of breaking the time and space barrier as he wishes. Probably all cats do, but this particular one did that in front of my very eyes. Well, not exactly, but it's undeniable that he's here now. Just wondering if that has anything to do with my ability to build a cross-dimension door with my karma arm. Guess we'll see in time. Alrighty. So, this is apparently written by the same person that wrote the note from the first game. Because if you remember, he had his invisible arm. He called the karma arm, which is the same thing he says here. Cross-dimensional door with my karma arm. So, this character lives here in this lighthouse? Uh... Yeah, inside the lighthouse. And he has a cat named Einstein, but apparently the cat got in even though there were no open doors and windows. So naturally, as anyone would assume, uh, he figured that this cat was opening portals in time and space to enter the lighthouse. Uh, let's continue. Let's try this door. I'll just shut. We do have a key, however, so let's just yeah, let's do that. This toilet we can't really use. Some handles, faucet, things that don't work, and a key. It's amazing that the electricity's on, but the plumbing's not working. You'd think it'd be the other way around uh, if there was an abandoned building. Uh, sewer key. So that probably is for the sewer entrance downstairs that we passed up earlier, but we'll get to that later. Let's keep exploring. We also have some other sort of entrance here with a lock but it doesn't look like a sewer thing so that's not going to let us in uh, we have a another secret there a bit of a weird perspective thing going on um, go this way a door to a new area but let's hold off let's uh, keep exploring this area another secret there and a picture of a lighthouse so if you saw the first game you'll recognize this is the same picture from before so uh, probably the lighthouse that we are in now uh, and this time there's a arrow pointing to this window with something written there some symbols we have this sort of like a, a die the five side we have this set of five dots and then we have this set that kind of looks like a mm, like a sideways n or a sideways c or something yeah, it's pointing to this window, so either it's telling us where we are and giving us some sort of info, or it's telling us that in this window, there's these things here. One of the two. So we're still not sure if we're on this floor, but probably not, because we would have seen another floor with these types of windows, and this is the first one. So my guess is we're on this floor right now, and we will go up to this floor. Uh, yeah, and we also have some brochures here, or, or pamphlets, excuse me. Welcome. Welcome to the world's famous Kent Lighthouse. This structure has been erected in 1857 by Sir Henry O'Toole. It is said that this lighthouse was built on the ruins of a... Uh, excuse me. It is said that this lighthouse was built on the ruins of an medieval prison dungeon. This is one of our sightseeing attractions as you can go visit the archaeological digouts in the lower sections of the lighthouse, just below the basement level. Ask your tour guide for this feature. This lighthouse was amazingly never destroyed, though several wars have been fought over lands of Kent. 
That allows you to enjoy the original wall structure of this complex. Thank you for coming. Hope to see you again. Somebody. Okay, that tells us a little bit more about where we are. Uh, it explains why there's something underneath the lighthouse where we started the game. I guess that was supposed to be a medieval and medieval prison dungeon. Just keep in mind, Polish creator, his grammar in English is a lot better than yours is in Polish, so give him a rest. Uh, let's see. Ask your tour guide feature about Kent. Kent's not actually that important um, to the story structure, but it does sort of tell us where we are. You'd think, oh, that's the real Kent that exists in reality, but actually, I don't think it's a reference to that real Kent, because we do get a look at where the lighthouse was built and the land surrounding it, and it doesn't look anything like any part of the UK. I'll just leave it at that. Um, and it's certainly not the Kent that is uh, in Washington State. So it's probably a made-up location that is also called Kent, or alternate universe type of thing. Or maybe we're not even on Earth. We're, we're still not totally sure where this is. Um, and we're not even sure who Henry O'Toole is. None of this stuff makes sense yet, but it just tells us a little bit about where we are. Um, and there's some dirt coming in through the window. Looks like it broke the window slats in to get in. Uh, so if we're, ooh, if we're in this uh, lighthouse, we would expect that out of the window we would see the world around us but apparently there's a lot of dirt coming in so either someone piled up a bunch of dirt by the window or this lighthouse is underground uh, so let's go now into this room we've ignored uh, oh there's something down there a negative coil which implies the existence of a positive coil uh, oh let's see that's uh, locked uh, the doubtful that that's a sewer so we're not gonna get in there and someone built this ladder wrong because it goes sideways um, we want it to go up and down but actually this sort of looks like something we've seen before and if you kind of squint you can see it again we got a circular shape with the line going this way so the lever we saw down in the basement that just had that symbol on it it's supposed to be in reference to this uh, you can be forgiven if you do not make that connection I certainly didn't when I played but it's okay, you don't actually need to remember it, because if you pull that lever, like once you find a lever to pull, you don't have to remember that it does this ladder, you'll eventually find it. Um, so there's really nowhere else to go but in the sewer. So we're going to head down all the way to here again. Alright, now this is a bit of a maze. Um, I'm not sure how much y'all like mazes in your point-and-click adventure games. They're not my favorite. Uh, and unlike the rest of this let's play where I'm kind of wandering around in a sort of organic fashion I'm just gonna solve this maze because if I do the organic fashion I will get lost so I already know I want to stay in this pipe and go straight as far as possible we're gonna ignore all of those places we're either gonna get there later or it'll lead us to dead ends and I'll get hopelessly lost so we'll grab this secret here and if we go any further that's the end of the line uh, okay now on the way back we're gonna head down here and this way and we grab that positive coil I was telling you about and going further we're gonna go down and around until we find this room uh, now here is a interesting little puzzle if we click on one of these things it turns on I guess and all of the lights around it turn on so I guess we want to turn all of the lights off or on um, and if you've seen a puzzle like this, you already know the solution, because this is a stock puzzle that's featured in a lot of puzzle games. Um, it even shows up in Super Mario RPG, of all places. And all you gotta do is make a bunch of T-shapes by clicking on, like, the edge, like that, and then just going around the circle. And that did something. And I will show you what it did, because if you get lost and you don't find what that puzzle solution did, you will be wandering around for a million years. So once you leave the other place, which is technically in the room right over here, you go left, down, right, right, up, and you're in this room. And we have a handle. Something that looks like a lever, so we can use it as a lever. Let's keep going this way, this way, and here we find a secret room with a secret secret and a note. Hi, Elizabeth. Even in my strangest dreams, I never thought that I would be able to create through dimensional pathways 
leading to unexplored places. My new experiment took me rigged below the lighthouse, straight to those legendary ruins. You can call me a discoverer from now on, and I only used that wisdom gem that I found lately. Just think where possibly I could go using the lighthouse itself and its full power of light. I'm considering moving to another place next 32 days. Will you take care of Einstein for me? Yours, M. All right, so my head cannon is this M guy is Polish or in some other way he is not a native English speaker and that would explain the random like errors as well as just odd sentence structure that is clearly not from an English speaker and we're just going to leave it at that but apparently M is the person we've been reading all the notes from before because M is taking care of the cat who appeared in the lighthouse so he must also be the same guy who has the karma arm and he's writing to Elizabeth and for some reason leaves this note in this random ass room under a sewer, under a lighthouse. Apparently, Elizabeth would be able to read it, but we're not totally sure how. Um, and he's considering moving for some reason. That would explain why he's not here anymore. Uh, let's keep going. This way, we should find the third and final secret in the maze. And finally, we've seen this room before. This is where we saw that key from earlier. Oh my gosh, we made it out. Okay, this is a good place to stop the video, and I should hopefully finish up in the next one. So I'll see you then. Bye!